What are your thoughts on that currently, of where the right of politics gets to go wrong? Well, I think that we have been able to box in the, the, the more unfortunate elements of the right. And that's probably a consequence mostly of moral deliberations undertaken after World War II. So we've seemed to have come to a pretty general consensus, I would say, that claims of ethnic or, or racial superiority place you outside the realm of acceptable political discourse. That that's that cliff place where, where, where dialogue degenerates into conflict, inevitably. I think the right, the, the classic errors of the right are to fail to attend sufficiently to the tendency for hierarchies to degenerate into corruption because of willful blindness and rigidity. And, and of course, that's something that the left takes the right to task for, generally speaking. So there's, there's, the, there's the hard line, which is um, ethnic identity ethnic identity as, as a mark of superiority, and then there's a, a looser line where there's, where there's also error. Um, I think the right errs in the same way that the left does when they play identity politics. So, you know, generally the way that we're conceptualizing the political landscape is right to left as a distribution. But there's a, another axis, which is probably collectivist versus individualist. And there's collectivist left-wingers and there's collectivist right-wingers. And insofar as the left-wingers and the right-wingers are collectivist, then they're wrong. And you see that on the right with their claims of ethnic and national superiority, say.